Kogi State Government says it has put in place necessary policies and structures to promote both local and foreign investment in the state, particularly in the agriculture and health sectors. The State Commissioner for Finance, Budget and Economic Planning, Asiwaju Ashiru Idris, said this at Government House Lokoja. Addressing newsmen after a meeting with the business delegation from the state of Delaware in the United States, Asiwaju assured the investors of the security of lives and property. The state's government, through the Commission of Finance, Asiwaju Idris said, it's time for the world to invest in Kogi because Governor Yahya Bello has provided the enabling environment for investment. According to Asiwaju, the governor has put in place an institutional framework including setting up a formidable state economic advisory council as well as a Kogi state investment promotion agency. The governor has been spending a lot to ensure that the, the, the state is safe and the people around the world have seen it. The people of America can come now at this time to partner with the state. They did not just say it, they also visited. Yesterday, the Lieutenant Governor of Delaware had a Zoom meeting with the governor. The president of the World Trade Center had a Zoom meeting with the governor yesterday. The Secretary of State of Delaware and Secretary of Agriculture so as to discuss area of collaboration for the betterment of our people. Kogi Project Coordinator of the Lewari African Caribbean Coalition, DACC, Dr. Eunice Kwan Messia said, there, we're in Kogi to explore the areas of collaboration in the areas of agriculture, education, healthcare, and youth empowerment. She acknowledged the huge human and natural resources that are bound in Kogi and enjoined all parties to work together and ensure accountability. I am grateful on behalf of DACC, I can definitely say that Kogi State is the state to be, the confluent state, the state with the youngest governor, the state that is very inclusive of young, old and women alike. Over 200 women in his government is remarkable. So he is definitely setting, uh, blazing the trails and an example to follow. So we have been received well. We have seen a lot of work that is going on, building seven new hospitals, a school that was built even during COVID-19 that practically shut down the world, but he was able to achieve that. So for that, we see a lot of determination and willingness and an executive team that is working together to achieve all his vision and the goals that he has set together with his leadership team for the state of Kogi. The president, DACC, who led a delegation to Nigeria, Thomas Negrant, stressed the need for citizens to play their part rightly. I give these little things just for people to understand that we are one people, we are one Africans. And we in DACC, since we live in the state of Delaware, in the United States as a whole, we want to reach back over the Atlantic Ocean and see how we can help our brothers and sisters be better than who they are, than where they, than where they are. We all cannot be presidents. We all cannot be prime ministers. But we all can have an impact. Thomas advises you to take advantage of the ICT subsector and use it to change the narrative of the state and in the global space. Delaware African Caribbean Coalition is a charitable organization made up of Africans with the aim of linking their countries of birth with the state of Delaware in the United States to uplift and empower people in Africa. Mercy AK, reporting for Clearview Television.